I've been working on a mini makeover and some updates for my bedroom, and while it's almost time for the big reveal, I first wanted to talk about this waterfall bench that I made to go at the foot of my bed. I'm in desperate need of some seating options and have been eyeing a waterfall bench ever since my friend Leah found one while out thrifting and added it to her bedroom. Now for the disclaimer, I am not a professional carpenter and my upholstery skills, they are a level one at best, but that means if I can DIY a waterfall bench, then so can you. First, it started with a trip to the hardware store for wood. This project is completely customizable, which I love. So to fit my space, I needed one 48 inch piece for the seat and two 18 inch pieces for the legs. Thanks to the handyman at Lowe's who used the saw to make the cuts for me because again, I am not a carpenter. Back at home, it was time to assemble. And of course, project manager Sammy Davis Jr. was there to help supervise. First, I used wood glue to attach the legs to the seat and screwed in L brackets to make sure the bench was extra safe and sturdy. Once the bench was assembled, it's time to add fabric. Upholstery is all about having the right layers. First, a two inch pad for cushion. Then, I used batting and a staple gun to make sure that the padding was snugly and tightly wrapped into place. Once the batting was stapled into place, I started to add the fabric. My biggest tip when it comes to upholstery is to make sure your fabric is pulled tightly and to keep your staples close together. The tighter you keep everything, the better it will look in the end. This project taught me a lot about patience, but I think it turned out pretty fab and my project manager seems to approve. I can't wait to show you what it looks like in my new bedroom space.